the Weird Bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Hogwarts Legacy. This will be episode number four. We are really um, making some headway here. In the last episode, we attended Charms class, where we learned the um, summoning spell Accio. And I got my ass whooped by a Gryffindor student. It happens, and uh, I'm absolutely not bitter. Just a little bit. Um, and in this episode, we will be going to Hogsmeade, I think. But first of all, we will receive an assignment from Professor oh, Ronan. And this is where we will learn the uh, re the uh, healing spell or repairing spell, Reparo. So, Professor Ronan, what do you got for me? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. Okay, so we will learn to repair stuff. But what is Why the purpose? Must the first complete tasks to learn Repero. No lesson or lecture can compare to first hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, I'll complete the tasks because I'll you're asking so nicely. Right away, Professor. Okay. I guess we'll be running this way. This is the right area. And this looks like something pages. that needs to be repaired. Okay, am I supposed to catch this? What? Revelio. And Lumos. what if I Lumos you over here? Collect the flying page in the defense against Dark Arts Tower and collect it. But how do I collect it, I ask you? Okay. I know you'll come around the mountain again. Hmm. But how do I collect you, damn it? Oh, right! That's how I summon stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I could have been doing that for hours. Okay, so, apparently, the, like I said, uh, Akio was the last charm that I learned. And I told you I was bad at it. I'm so bad that I don't really remember that I have it. And... But you're blue, though. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Hmm. Predicament, you say? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl who Noak. everyone at school hates for no reason. I remember that name, Noak. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to Damn, make some that's new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. I know that uh, when I did the Accio class, uh, he said that y playing Accio was like a reverse gobstone. So I guess you're supposed to throw stones at something. Gobstones? 
Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Okay, feels like I should wear some other clothes. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Huh. I'd have done the same. No, no, I wouldn't. Evil, not mean. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I do recall that. I can't work out how to get them back. Golden Mort was quite charming. I don't school. think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Selfless and talented. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Brooms, perhaps? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay, she was actually kind of depressing. But gob... gobs of gobstones. Cool. But, first of all... Accio. Yeah! <laughs> Accioing like a pro. Now, let's run out and talk to Ronan again. I can't believe I forgot I actually had I'd a spell. I bet high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. High places, you say? I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give basic? the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. A pow. Remember, your wand is a conduit All of right. magic. And... F. Face. Whoop. Face. And there we go. Wasn't perfect, but I got it done. So... Should we repair some stuff, Professor? The Mending Charm Repairo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Ooh. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Should never lash out. Okay. So let's mend this thing, shall we? Repairer. Nicely done. That was Looks easy like enough. Charm, it? <laughs> and... Nope. No field guide. I l really like that aspect that... I mean, if I press T, I can see all of the spells that I have, uh, that I have and will have in my collection. And you really need to... You can use all of them in various situations. Basic cost. Revelio. I guess these are the ones. And Protego. And Stupefy. Okay. So I guess these are ones that I don't need to use the keys for. But rather some other... Some other letters or whatever. Or some other uh, ways of using them. Interesting stuff. Uh, but I already have all of... My slots fill, so I can't drag to slot spell. But, like I said, I really like that aspect, that you can... You need to just uh, find which spell for which situation. Okay. Can I mend you? Nope. Can I Lumos you? Nope. Can I Levioso you? Ooh, look at that! Field guide page. And only one left until. Only one left until I um, get the next level up on field guide pages. So, find Zenobia's gobstones, but I'd rather 
thing that I want to go to Hogsmeade now. Uh, I needed Reparo in order to go to Hogsmeade. Ooh, complete assignments. Uh, quests. Or, right, welcome to Hogsmeade. That's where I want to go. I need uh, Reparo and required level 2, and I am way past that. Ancient Magic Throw and Ancient Magic will be my rewards. And, right, I could choose between the girl I play I met at uh, the Charms class or the guy I fought off at the Dark um, Defense Against the Dark Arts. And Sebastian is a Slytherin, so I went with that. Because it feels like hanging out with a lot of Slytherins can get me to really evil and dark places, and I uh, find that intriguing. And hello. Right. Reveal. Okay. So, that thing is revealed. Before I started this recording, I, take, I took a look at my inventory, and I actually found that I have a document that contains a list of numbers assigned to various magical beasts. So, here we have numbers to all the different beasts. And this, these are the only ones, 0 to 9. And if I go back here, I can see that... Ooh! Right on! Complete another challenge. I need to look at that first. Field Guide Challenge. 14% of Field Guide Challenges. And it gave me a hat. Ooh. Now, I need to think about this. Okay, I have 0 to 9. And 11... 11 and a dragon head makes 21. I think that's a dragon head. So, 11 and a dragon head makes 21. Uh, so, 11 plus 2 is 13. So, then I need 8. So, that would be a spider then, I guess. So, what if I roll this one until I get a spider? That's a spider. Still can't open. Is there something else that I should start spinning? Hmm. We also have 17. Uh, and is that a whatever that is? Hydra, whatever that is. And a weird thing makes 17. Hydra and a weird thing makes 17. Uh, 9 plus 5, that's 14. So that would be a 3. It'd be 17. And I can't select that here. So, spider, and where are you? Could it be on the other floor, maybe? If it seeds, I'm off. Right, here it is. The, oh, right, it's marked with two question marks. And I think this was the one. Yeah, there we go. Medium grounded coverings and bleak dueling gloves. Oh, yes. Let's go to our gear. And I do love the uh, murderous wrist gloves, but these give me an increased offense. So I kind of got to go with those ones, even if like uh, brass knuckles or something like that. It gives me uh, 7 offense, no defense, but I did get higher health. Maybe it was the level up. But okay, now I know how to work uh, those doors. 
That's great. We know how to work the doors. Now let's go meet Sebastian, shall we? And that one is open. Let's go and we. Still want to know if there's something here for me to. Hmm. I mean, there is a chest. Okay. Repairer. There is a chest somewhere around here if you look at the minimap. But where? I wonder. Okay, actually, it's seven. Okay, uh, let's run there. And interact. Ooh, dapper teal ensemble. So I can run around looking dapper. And that has a green arrow up. So I'm guessing that that gives me a bonus of some sort. This one doesn't give me anything. But this superb gives me plus 9 defense. And look at that. I'm looking really um, proper. Man, I'm building. I'm building gear here. Revelio. Okay. Keep revelioing. What happens if I just Accio you? No, I couldn't Accio the knight. Revelio. Is this a Revelio? Something is a Revelio. But not you. There we go. Field guide page. A petrified cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangurdu Don. Fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Almost level 7. Ooh, I heard another playing. Is it somewhere around Rebellion. here? Or could it be flying around, maybe? My family has a of there we go. Oh, that's a broom. Must be, right? No? It's not just look like... This broken broom belonged to Celine Wa Watnabi. Wat Watnabi. And is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar appar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Huh. And that's level 7! Plus 25 HP. And we are well, ready for Hawksmeet, bro. You here. Yeah. What are you talking about? Fancy meeting me here? You're ah, waiting here for me. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies. And I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for Indeed. Is this your first foray into the village? What's a it foray? Is. I haven't left the castle Look at those uh, gloves. Well, Look I really shall cool. endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Is Hogsmeade's that sarcasm? A little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? We shall, my dear friend Sebastian. We shall. Just a couple of Slytherins hanging about in Hogsmeade. And some enemies are vulnerable to certain spells and techniques in your arsenal. Don't have time to read the tips? Oh, yes. Outdoorsy. That's not hoax me, though. Oh, yes. Revelio. Ooh. Asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. The only one who's ever okay, I guess I'll see that I document some other time. If it's not flying around. Okay, I really don't like that. I didn't see this document. Oh, hello. Oh my god. I didn't abandon Sebastian. Okay, let's go, my boy. Revelio. Can I Accio him? Accio. Nope. I could not. How about can I... I can't Levioso him either. Boom. Boom. Wonder if there's anything around here for me to repair, though. She seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Indeed. He absolutely loved me. Okay, a flu flame. And... Somewhere around here. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? 
Just enough to keep me well rounded. Somewhere around here, there's a document. Ooh, and I can see the Thestrals. That means that I've seen death, and most likely it was that little dragon event in the beginning of the uh, of the game. And ah, I'm on. Can I repair all this? Nope. Okay, I don't like it that there are documents that I can't grab. I can hear the plinging and plonging. But I cannot reach them. Repairer. Ooh. Rebellion. Okay, maybe I should just keep running after Sebastian. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. That's awesome. Glad I could be of service. Really good cardio. Running and speaking. As is often the case. And boom! Ooh! Damn! I couldn't repair it after I destroyed it. Oh, sorry. Ooh, hello. Can I Accio sheep? Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! Let me also. I accioed it! Revelio. Oh, that's amazing! And look at the squirrel. How did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side. Well, oh, I love I this game. It's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined, I'm inclined to, disagree. to disagree. Okay, what's oh, that yellow stuff? Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace, lace wing, wing flies. flies. Look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay, Accio plant. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, let's get running. Ooh, look at this. What can I do about these things? I can break them, it seems. Collected updates, moonstones. And... Oh, I can break them down even more. Can I repair all them? Repairer. Nope, but I can break them though. Okay, so now I've broken and collected seven moonstones. Whatever that's good for. Are we really supposed to be running all the way to Hogsmeade? Bid from the Look. What's going on? <gasps> oh, hippogriffs. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Very, very true, and we don't see that every day either. Absolutely stunning. And imagine, like, we've just been running from the door, basically. All the way over here. Ooh, and we can collect stuff. Rebellion. Nothing here for me to destroy or mend. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Any Precisely. crystals or anything here? Think Ooh. It's too dangerous. I think they need to have more Luke confidence Lane. in our defensive abilities. Okay, I already have that flu flame, I guess. Sprinting! Oh, what was that? Oh, how beautiful the water is. Look at the beach. Okay, I'm j I'm getting you know, way too easily distracted. But it's just it's so beautiful. Enormous. Look at the waterfall. That? I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. That's true. To see. Places to discover. Remember, in the oh, video in the beginning, like he couldn't see what uh, the Thestrals one day. that were uh, run, driving the now, or powering I? the wagon. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I'm minding my own business. That's how. Okay. Uh, leaping uh, toad tool caps. I suppose that these might be good for something as well. I wonder if I can collect them without actually. Running over to them. Sebastian must get so sick of me right now. 
Come on, man, stop collecting stuff and being enamored with the environment. Oh, gorgeous. I Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Can I accio you? No, I cannot. But you can see them, unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand, too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully, Lake. the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Okay, can I climb up here? Good climb in the beginning. Hmm. Okay, there we can climb. We just need to find where, like the the best, the best places to climb, I suppose. Got even more moonstones. And this? Nope. I guess I've already collected the moonstones that I can collect. Andale, let's go again, Sebastian. I must be honest though, I'm not that keen on running all the way back again later. But I don't mind this view. Yeah, mushrooms. Most likely I will be using these for potions class. That's all the mushrooms. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for Ooh, wear. Mr. Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is he drunk? Is all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and. Ooh, is it something we can fight? I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Sounds like you need a repair, oh my good sir. Okay. I don't know what he's What about can I accio you? He's obviously nope. had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Revelio. Look at that, we have even more moonstones over there. Oh, they are collected automatically. Mr. Moon that is, is beautiful. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Revelio. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she Oh, was. look at all this, all the places I can go. But she'll be better all the soon possibilities. The Ooh. Hello there. Uh, the only all-wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students 30 years and up for centuries. Cool beans, and here we are. Here we are indeed. This is so beautiful. I'm getting chills. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I love this. Hello, ladies. I'm the new fifth year. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, apparently there's a no running rule. If one could rebellion matter in this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. Yeah, we it's a shit. To it like moths to a flame. Yeah, or like moths to a frame. Okay, let's go, Sebastian. Oh, I got a lavender patch scarf. Excuse me, I just need to do some changing. Gear. Facewear. And Quidditch goggles. They actually give me some defense, but oh, they do not look good. Headwear. Nothing that gives me any... Um, any defense, health, or offense. Just look like a Peaky Blinders. So let's go with that one. Okay, I'm absolutely going to remove all this later most likely no nope can't do it might keep the cap on though but the quidditch glasses that did lot not look that was not a flattering look on me uh, moonstone, an ingredient commonly used for conjuration magic. It is found in every region and acquired by breaking crystallized stone. Leaping toadstool caps. 
mushrooms that leap serendipitously and are used in the invisibility potion. They are commonly found in forested area. And finally, the lace wing flies, delicate wings used in the focus potion. They're commonly found in open fields, so all of these, of course, will be used later on. What kind of progress? Oh, it's just a field the guide pages progress. I wonder though, did it give me any thing? No, it did not. What about collections? I mean, that's most okay. Conjurations, ingredients, field guide pages. Nothing that exciting. Let's keep walking around like bosses in hogs. Ooh. Another field guide page. Hello, large tower of cauldrons. These precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Keridwen's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly, admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I do not get my level up, my experience as quickly now. Not even halfway through level seven. Revelio. Ooh, another plane. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Right on. Ew. Remember, have fun. Have Talks fun, me. yeah. I'll enjoy myself. I'll enjoy the living hell of myself. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. I open my map. Oh, look at this! This is where I am. I'm supposed to go to Ollivander's. Spint Witch's sporting needs. I will not be sporting yet. I don't, I don't even have any brooms. Uh, Tomes and Scrolls. A specialty bookshop that with wares that fulfill the promise of its name. You also have Hog's Head. Uh, J. Pippin's Potions. I need to go there. We have Zonko's Joke Shop. The three boomsticks. That's another pub. And Hog's Head. Is that where G uh, Dumbledore's brother hangs out? Where Aberforth hangs out in Hog's Head? Uh, Steeply and Sons. Honey Dukes. Hogsmeade Square. Dellings Dress Tress Emporium. Glad Drags Wizard Wear, a clothing shop for both elegant and eccentric wizard. It has two additional locations in London and Paris. Huh. Brood and Peck, a beast supply shop. Okay. First of all, I need to go to Ollivander's. Um, points of interest. Those are the stars, right? You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing right clicking. So, let's hit up Ollivander's and let's get me an. Awesome wand. Rebellion. But where is... Right there. And it's Ollivander's. No place better. Ollivander's wand shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility. Each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the profession of one craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best one makers in Britain, if not the world. Now, I did, when I did my um, chest, yeah, just take some stuff. When I did my uh, Wizarding World quiz, I actually was appointed with a wand. I wonder if I will be getting the same here. I don't remember which one it was though. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I 
About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? How the hell have he heard about that? Olivanders, the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? He seems like more of a salesman than the Ollivander in uh, oh, not in the you. movies. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. That was actually a beautiful wand. Well, go ahead, swish. Wait. Oh no. Hmm. How odd. Performance Once issues. More, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Not that one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. He seems so certain we'll when he picked it up. Not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare one. Ooh, dragon heart string. Inches, dragon Same core as uh, Lucius Malfoy. Let's give this one a try. Goodness. Might it be the third try? It's back to the shelf for you. That's the charm. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Always a green box, isn't it? Yeah. Could it be because I'm a Slytherin? I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, it looks like that will be the one. A rinsed dark brown and ebony unicorn hair as a core. Okay, surprisingly swishy and 12 inches. What am I supposed to do with this now? Oh, I can't do stuff. Yes, indeed. No, this is the thing that, that this is the one that I was supposed to have, wasn't it? But can I do any changes? Wood type. How intriguing. Vine, sycamore spur grown. I don't know anything about these. If they make any actual change. Curious indeed. Hawthorne. Doesn't look like that made any change in uh, what it looked like. Hazel Holly. How intriguing. Make it really long. 14 and a half inches, or really short. Flexibility. I mean, what I would like to change is what it looks like, rather. Hmm. They have the unicorn that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic, or powerful magic, or a great range of magic. So they do actually have some kind of a curious indeed effect. Uh, let's pick with consistent. Powerful would be cool though. But let's pick with consistent. Stay with that one. Wand is most reliable and, and faithful, faithful to its, to its owner. owner. I was thinking if I could get it to. L Ooh. How intriguing. No, I want it to be dark. No. 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 Curious no. indeed. No. No. Okay, I guess it's gonna be this one. Let's buy it, shall we? What do you think? Oh yes. Extraordinary. Turning me blue all over. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Already kind of now, wanting to switch to the dragon heart string to be honest. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. It's good to be consistent. 
You're consistently mediocre. Particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, so, we got a wand. Now let's go to... Can we get any... Oh. Revelio. Something here, but most likely on the outside. I love this aspect that you can just run in and out of all the buildings. Something here. Ooh. Getting close, am I? Yes, indeed. Do you really want this massive keg of butterbeer just here for everyone to use? Whatever. Uh, these barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. And that's what the professor wanted a fifth year to drink. Hmm. Let's see, uh, take a look at uh, where we're supposed to go. Uh, we need to go here, and so we shall. Let's go. Ooh, and... Yeah! There we go, I'm getting a hang of this Akio, Akio business. Sounds like there's something here. That was a blue one, though. Zonko's Joke Shop. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Let's see if I become much of a prankster later on. Ooh, hello. I wonder if I can Accio the cat. Yeah, and... Ooh. Oh, no. I just kind of tipped it over. Revelio. And I can do something about this. Okay. Cool stuff. Search. 13 gold. Noise. And level 11 lock. Okay. Let's go and buy ourselves some potions. Uh, some potions recipes, shall we? Welcome to Pippen's potions. Let's see it outside. Oh, right, it's over there. Okay. I'll find it. I'll take it eventually. Hello, sir. Give me some recipes, please. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Right. Um. Feels like I should know. 
Which ones Feel I should get? Take a look at the rest of my inventory. Oh or damn! Come back another time if you're in a rush. I today. thought I was flush with cash, but no, I am not. Combat tools, right? Five hundred thousand, three hundred, five hundred. I need to find some way to make a lot of money. Wigan Weld potion. I already have some of these, but what if I buy one more? Might be good. And also, let's see if we want to sell something. Like these glasses, for example. And the natural beige scarf. I can sell that one as well. I want to keep the mirror gloves. Don't know what to do with these ones, though. They do give some defense. Okay, I think I'm ready now. Beautiful. What is here? Okay, just gonna steal some stuff, apparently. And he didn't mind. Rebellion. And that's the page over there. We got a distinguished school robe. I wonder how that one differs. Blue flame. Prepare. Nope, that was the wrong one. There we go. Um, and what's this? Okay. So we will get all kinds of different ways to travel. To Hogsmeade now, which is great, but we do have Rebellion. more uh, pages that we should collect, and it's over there. Accio. There we go, six out of eight. Rebellion. As soon as I hear it playing, I will be sprinting towards that one. Uh, but also, of course, I mustn't forget the things I'm actually here to do. I've already been there. Tomes and scrolls. And the magic knee. What is the magic knee? This is the magic knee. Okay, first of all, let's go get the tomes and scrolls. And we Rebellion. might be able to get ourselves another. Um, Couple of scrolls. Sounds like it's really close by. Yeah, there it is. Uh, field guide, okay. This small community garden in the heart of the village is the perfect spot for growing various herbs and peaceful magical plants. Beautiful, now that's seven out of eight. And jump over. Hello, kitty. Rebellion. And no plingily plong so far. Oh, and there must be the last one. Let's have my finger on number four. And yeah, there we go. Another 80 experience point and level eight. Great. So now let's see what you want in here. Hello, An good sir. Mind. Is this a bank? Can I rob you? Rebellion. Ooh, hello. Interact. Oh, interacting with that opened a staircase. How very fascinating. Ooh, and another field guide page. Uh, enchanted Staircase. This enchanted staircase in Tomes and Scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products including spellcrafts. Handy for conjuration. Revelio. Ooh, and there's something over here as well. And Solar Protection Spect- Ooh, can I run around with shades? Let's see if they actually give me any, um... Oh, plus 11 defense! And yeah, yeah, look how stylish I got! Actually thinking about... Removing this, though. It doesn't give me any... Any bonuses whatsoever. And that would actually give me even more offense. 
and cloaks and robes. That would give me even more offense. Ooh, no. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm getting stylish. Oh, yes. Imagine just a guy moving a book, running up a staircase, and then coming down wearing a completely different outfit. Hello, good sir. Sell me your scrolls and tomes. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. I have Ooh, no idea. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look right at what here. We have, shall we? Looks like these are the ones. That's why they are for free. Those are required. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around. Beast at toy the box rest of my infantry. Conjure a beast toy box. Use the toy box to pick out your beast's favorite toys for them to play with. I need to find a way to make some money. Potting table with three small pots spellcraft. Okay, there are so many things here that I most likely might actually need. But I don't know yet to which degree I will need them. So I will not buy them for now. Just run around with 500 gold coins in my pocket. That can't be 500 galleons. Uh, okay. Thank you. Now we are going to visit the magic neep. Which is... If we open up the map, it is all the way over there. So, let's get running. There aren't any blue flames nearby, is there? There is that one. Currently unavailable. Figures. Ooh, ah! Ooh, locked. Rebellion. I don't think there are any more field, uh, guide ma field guides here. I've already collected the 8 out of 8. Oop. Or is there? Maybe I'll Accio that thing later if that's the case. It seems so close. So close, no matter how far. Rebellio. Oh, and Accio. Accio. Great. Oh, so you can get even more. Uh, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yes, please. Let's Let me get guess. me some Dittany seeds. Something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty Let's of see. Okay, the price were a bit lower it. here. Oh, well, that's everything. Better go Unlocks the ability Boston. to grow mallow sweet in small pots. I wonder if you need to come back and keep buying seeds. 
eventually. Most likely you'll have to, right? Oh, hello there. Revelio. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Yes, indeed you do. Okay, I don't think there's anything more for me to talk to him about. But, I would very much like to know... ...where the other field guide was. And... Nope. Couldn't Accio Pumpkin, could I? It's so beautiful, and look at Hogwarts in the background. Oh, so beautiful. You just stare at the surroundings for hours. Yeah! Didn't anticipate that I would find a shortcut, did ya? Ooh, a plingly plong. Rebellion. And there is a document. Four out of fifteen. Right on. And it looks Rebellion. like that we have another one. Rebellion. And we have another plingly plong somewhere. Oh, there it is. The savvy traveler knows that some water wells may have more to offer than this relatively innocuous water well in the village of Hogsmeade. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's so much plingly plonging everywhere. And it's somewhere close by. And basically, smell it. Rebellion. There we go. And... Uh, Gladrags Wizardware, founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Gladrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. August Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the costumer with less fashion sense than most. Okay. Hello. Actually, let me just collect this flu flame. Oh. Oh. And this field guide page. Uh, Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff's Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft. Believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. So oh, damn, sorry to hear that. There we go. Blue flame location discovered. And even more. There we go. And now we can talk to Sebastian, right? No, I hear another playing. Okay, now let's actually move this along. Talk to Sebastian. I will be in, Hogs in Hogsmeade many a time. Have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did and you new clothes as well. Sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Right. Oh, okay. I guess it's not a party we're going to. What the heck? How the hell am I supposed to defend myself against that? That's something I don't want to Akio. Bombarda! Bombarda! Away from the building. Away from the building. And here comes another one. Okay. Control. Okay, it's got, starting to get quite a lot of things to uh, to keep an eye on. Control and... Oh, okay. I should really have done a control thing there. If, if I see red... Oh, no. Oh! Ancient magic throw. Oh, okay. A taste of his own medicine. Okay, he's really kicking my ass right now.
That dealt quite a lot of damage, actually. That's right, lovely loud. He's faltering. Whoa! Do the job. There we go. And. Ooh! Okay. X to invoke ancient magic. And Hadouken! Oh, that seemed a bit excessive. Accomplishment unlocked. Troll with the punches. Goodness! A second troll! Did yeah. you two take on Forgot a to look at that one, didn't you? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. No worries. Let's go mend some stuff. And most of these things are actually things that I broke. But okay. So. Control will One less thing for start me. Will, uh, okay. So that's how I dodge stuff. And Protego with Q. And Revelio with R. And of course the 1, 2, 4. Okay. Any more damage to repair? Seems like we have something over there. That might be all. Speak to the shopkeeper. Hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. Oh, right. Field guide page. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Okay, and what if I drink some tea? Like a sophisticated gentleman. And... The chest. Reparo. Okay, not Reparo. Revelio. Revelio. There we go. Uh, a sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution. However, as it will be, as it will alert the untrustworthy of the user's presence almost instantaneously. Okay. And do something with this. Also, I do realize that this uh, episode is running a bit long. Let's talk to Hello, the shopkeeper. Sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. No, sir, that's far too generous of you. No. Thank you, Mr. Free stuff. That's very generous give me of it. you. It's the least I can do. Maybe this is some kind of corruption side, line. Shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Uh-huh. So the only thing that I can get is actually worse than the things I'm already wearing. I'll purchase it, but I'm not going to use it. Okay, now I can gear screen. I don't want to equip it. Okay, so I'm streets ahead, really. Select the cloaks, cloaks and robes. Equip a robe. Well, I end up already equipping one. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? 
might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. Yeah, he I actually took a couple of hits. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Revelio, I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you Ooh. be inclined, you're most welcome to Brachio shop at your leisure. Yep, thank you. Speaking of leisure, Assuming we can weld potion. Bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. And let's go for some butter beer. Revelio. This might actually be a pretty long episode. I had no idea how long Hogsmeade uh, would take. Plus all the field guide documents that I run into. Or field guide maps. maps. Oh, we recognize that one, you don't we? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. I wonder if this I can become an ally of those guys. Telling me. Take over the world. All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that was a threat if I ever heard one. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, in a pub we should be safe. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now that's an entrance. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Hail! I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. A stylish young My friend fella. is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. We didn't shed any. Come, the ovenous. Boy. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Hog's head. Can't Perhaps. drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I have no idea. I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Yes, but first Rebellion. of all, another plane plong. There we go. Still currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself. The Three Broomsticks is the long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or. Fire whiskey. Moist. 
And I heard another one. And it sounds like it's really close by as well. Rebellion. Hmm. Maybe it's on the outsides. Eat some nuts, eat some apples, drink some of... Or it was actually some pastries and drink some of some other people's butterbeers. Wonder if I can get wasted on this. And I didn't finish my butter beer. Hello. Let's just take a quick, quick looky loo. Rebellious. Upstairs. And also, there's another moth flame thing. Here it seems. No one seems to uh, have. No one seems to object to the fact that I'm just robbing everything blind. Okay. Here. Rebellion. No. Oh. Okay. Where is it? I don't see it. Map. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'll be back to Hogsmeade and then I can do another round of finding field guides. I wonder if I have that flu flame though. Um, no, I don't think so. I'm just going to run over and collect it real quick. There we go. No plingly plong. Oh, there are so many things to do in this game. Lumos. Right. Something broken somewhere. Could it be over here? Rebellion. Hmm. Over here. Oh no, I abandoned Sebastian, so now I need to run back. Okay. I'll get that moth some other time. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. Indeed. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Okay. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. Oh, the world map! Oh, I can't see that one yet. Okay, fast travel to your common room. Where is my common room? Okay, I guess... Oh, I do not remember where... Where my common room is supposed to be. Right! Uh, Slytherin common room. So this was actually a bit of an action-packed episode. We got to repair some stuff, we got to kick some troll butt. And switch to some really stylish clothes. There we are, and the quest, Welcome to Hogsmeade, is complete. And right there, I will leave it for this episode. So a big thank you if you have watched it uh, so uh, this far. Like I said, most likely it's uh, it was a bit longer than the I uh, tried to keep my episode my episodes, and also I got some mail, and I need to press escape to get to the save settings so first let's just read this mail this mail shall we shall we come and see me i've discovered something in the locket we found at gringotts okay so like i said big thank you for watching and if you have any tips or tricks uh, on hogwarts legacy or any requests anything you would like me to do or try out in the game don't hesitate to write it down in the comments below 
Have a great day and I will see you in the next episode.